Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day or evening. Today we're doing something a little different because normally when I swatch any kind of cosmetic, it's because I've gotten it in a subscription box. So today these are not from a subscription box. However, I did get them for a great price. These three lipsticks, which I have upside down, let's turn them around, okay? These three lipsticks are name brand Revlon that I got from the Dollar Tree of all places. I saw them and I thought the tubes were really cute and I'm guessing they were probably either some sort of holiday edition of their classic colors or some sort of special packaging that they were using simply to denote a particular period in time or a particular event. So I love the tubes. And when I saw that these were three different shades of red, I said, this is a good time for me to try to pinpoint an inexpensive go-to red for myself. Now, I do have a really nice collection of reds that work for my complexion, but there are mainly two or three, I think, colors that I use, one of them being a Fenty option, but uh, the others, I can't even remember the brands. And I don't wear red lipstick very often, but I do like the thought of having a good go-to red that's not too cool, which usually isn't an issue for my complexion. Cool reds are fine. It's the warm reds that generally don't agree with me. So we're going to see how this goes with these three. Now, um, I did open them and look at them, but I have not swatched them at all. And this lighting that I have today um, is somewhere between warm and cool. So it's a pretty neutral lighting, which should work because I don't want the colors to come across slightly inaccurate. Um, however, I'll be looking at them and I'm going to swatch them on my hand, tell you about the shades, each of the shade names and those sort of details, and we will go from there. So Revlon has been making lipsticks for well over 70, 80, perhaps even going toward 90 years now. Um, the stars of yesteryear certainly wore it during the golden age of Hollywood. And lipstick at one point in time was really important because it was known to boost morale, especially during World War II, where women had to cut back on a lot of their creature comforts. However, lipstick sales went up and women to this day still love lipstick. It's a great way to pick up your whole look without having to do a full face of makeup if you have the right shade of lipstick, especially if you're going for a red lipstick. So this first one, and I'm gonna start off with the ones that I think would be least complimentary to my complexion because I wanna get those out of the way. And so this is Rose Wine. And it's shade 225, it is a cream lipstick. And as you can see, just based on how it's showing up on camera, it looks very orangey to me. And even as I look at it, it looks orangey. I have neutral undertones leaning toward cool. And so cool lipsticks are generally the way to go. I don't think this is going to be one, but let's try it. As you can see, I've never swatched it, but um, let's see what it looks like. And we'll also do a sniff test and I'll tell you about the texture. Uh, does not have a smell, applied smooth, but oh no, this is not a shade I would wear. As you can see, it's not hideous, it's not ugly, but it's certainly not me. It's a lot brighter than I like and it's a lot warmer than I like. That is a really good tomato red and I lean more toward a cherry red. So while Rose wine is very pretty. This is a color I will probably just um, let my daughter wear because she likes playing in makeup. So Rose wine is out at shade 225. From what I'm seeing, it has a very warm undertone. It has a bit more tomato shade going on and probably, probably would look good on someone with uh, those golden undertones, which even though I'm on camera, I might look like I have a lot of gold in my skin. I don't, um, but definitely someone with golden or olive undertones could probably work really well with that. So again, this color, let's make sure I'm pointing to it. Yes, this color is rose wine and it is a no. 
The next color I'm gonna use is Wine With Everything. It's shade 525. And here it is. That looks a little less orange and I'm gonna show you side by side with um, Rose Wine. Okay, so here's Rose Wine and here is uh, Wine With Everything. You can see the difference clearly between the two. This is a little less cool or sorry, a little less warm than rose wine. Um, it's getting closer to neutral, but not quite there. Um, but the color, it looks like it might be workable even though it's a little warmer than I like. So let's do a swatch. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, so that's wine with everything. That is definitely closer to a cherry red. And even though in the tube, this doesn't look very cool. It actually works really well on my skin, as you can see. So the plan initially was not to put these on on camera, but because I am down to um, the last swatch, I probably will try both of them on on camera just to show you what they look like. This last one is Revlon Red. This was the deepest red that I saw um, of the three. And look at that. Now I'm gonna compare this to the last two. So this is Revlon Red, color 730. This is Wine With Everything, which is color 525. And this one is Rose Wine, which is color Five, no, not five, two, two, five. You can see the differences in the reds, just lining them up. This Revlon red is looking like a true neutral. This one was a little bit cooler than I expected. And this one was just as orangey as I anticipated. So as you can see, they look less red on camera than they do in person. But even in person, I can see the undertones are not compatible with me, at least for uh rose wine let me make sure i'm saying that right yes rose wine so again rose wine wine with everything and this is revlon red that i'm about to swatch okay now side by side we can see what's going on here we've got this one which is definitely a bit more warm pinky and corally but even compared to this, it's looking less and less like tomato red, even though in person, as I glance at it, this is definitely a tomato red. This is really pretty, but this is the reddest and it's certainly a very neutral red from what I see. I could see this easily working with warm or cool undertones. So yeah, that's what's going on with these three shades. So we know rose wine, which is here, is out. Rose wine is a no. But I'm going to put the shades on and I will come back and show you what the color looks like on my skin without any um, liner on my lips, which is usually my go-to for any red lipstick. I'll usually do a brown liner, just kind of fade it in. Kind of like what I did today with my neutral. I do that with all of my lipsticks. So... I'm stuck in the 90s just a bit with my brown liner, but I always kind of fade it in to create a bit of an ombre. But I'm going to try wearing both of these shades without liner and show you what it looks like and tell you what I think. Now, I said I was going to come back with the lipstick on, right? And then I remembered I can see myself in my camera. So why not just put it on on camera? This is very vulnerable, you all. I don't like putting makeup on on film. <laughs> But we're gonna try this. I put a little bit of my Marcella water and I feel a little bit of tissue residue on my lips, but I'm hoping, yeah, I definitely got some tissue on my lips, but we will push through. So this is wine with everything. We're not even touching rose wine because that's a no, but we will try this um, wine with everything and see how it goes, okay? So I'm looking in my camera now. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, that's pretty. Okay. Okay. Um, now, of course, with any red lipstick, 
Um, your best bet is to apply it with a brush for the best precision application, but we don't have a brush right here and I don't want to dig one out even though I have a lip brush. So we're applying it straight from the tube to see what it looks like. And let's see. That is actually quite wearable. Um, and this is the middle shade. This is uh, wine with everything. So that with everything is amazingly prescient because as I think about it, you really could kind of wear this with everything. It is a tad on the warm side, but not too much, not overwhelmingly so. Um, there's certainly enough cool to balance it, but look at that. Hmm. That's not bad at all. That's not bad. I could wear this without liner and feel very comfortable. I need to grab a little mirror so that I can look at it in real time on my face um, and not in the camera. But I'll do that in a second. Uh, what I will do now is remove it. I'll look, <laughs> then I'll remove it and I'll come back and apply the Revlon Red. I'm back. I have removed the wine with everything and I like that. I looked at it off camera and it's really pretty. It's still a little brighter than I like, but I do like that if I'm feeling kind of bold, I can put that on and I don't have to have a liner and it would look good. I've already given rose wine to my daughter. She's already come in, grabbed it and ran off. So now we're going to try Revlon Red which I'm really excited about. That is this shade right here. So this one is good and I'll wear it. This one was a no. As you can see, it's completely wrong for my complexion, but we're gonna try Revlon Red and see. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, okay. I blink so you would know that it wasn't a glitch and that you weren't um, experiencing a frozen video. This is real time. <laughs> and wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. Now, I can barely fill my lips in and I've had them all my life. Let's try that just a little bit. Okay. My apologies for not looking directly into the camera. Of course, I'm looking to see what I'm coloring in, but look at this. That's so pretty. This, actually, even though I do not need a liner with this, this is actually a little less wearable than wine with everything. At least it looks like it on camera, which it's not surprising me that I feel a little less comfortable with this because it is so vivid, but this is actually, Revlon Red is actually a perfect red shade for me. Like this is real red. This is vintage red. This is a good red that you can wear anytime with anything. It is truly an anytime red, but it feels glamorous still. Um, and I think that this wine with everything red has a more daytime, anytime feel. While this feels, yes, daytime, anytime, but only if your daytime and anytime is amped up and glamorous anyway. So what can I say? Um, yes to Revlon Red and yes to wine with everything. Again, wine with everything is shade number 525 and Revlon Red is shade number 730. If I had to choose between the two, because of course, you know, rose wine is all the way out. If I had to choose between this shade and this shade, wine with everything and Revlon Red, I would say Revlon Red makes me feel far bolder. And I am a little wary of wearing it with out anything to tone it down, but that's exactly why I need to wear it because it's not too loud. It's not clashing with my undertones. It's just grown. It's a grown woman color. It looks very adult. It looks mature, but not um, 
not necessarily elderly, mature, just mature. It looks like the kind of shade you wear when you want to communicate sensuality, power, self-confidence, and it's not as approachable of red as wine with everything. Wine with everything is the red you wear if you wanna be known as the woman that wears red lipstick, but you don't want it to seem intimidating at all. Wine with everything isn't intimidating. It's a nice approachable red, but this is a talk to me if you dare red, this Revlon red. I love it. I love it. What color did you all like? Which shade did you prefer? Do you think I should have kept rose wine? I don't. Um, I'm looking at it still on my hand and I'm still not a fan. It actually, it goes from looking like a tomato red in person to kind of pinky on camera. It almost salmon colored and uh, side note, I absolutely hate the shade salmon. So you will probably never ever see me in it. And certainly for this lipstick, I don't like it. Um, but these two are really nice. This one, Wine With Everything, does seem more approachable. Revlon Red definitely seems more um, assertive, bolder, um, sexier, but still very pretty. And I like them both, but I think I'm leaning toward Revlon Red. I think I like that one better because it pushes me out of my comfort zone without shoving me. It's a gentle push out of my comfort zone, whereas wine with everything, definitely within my comfort zone, still pretty, still red, and still very approachable. So that's this different kind of video for today. Let me know what colors you like. If you have a go-to red, even if we don't have the same complexion or undertones, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, if you like these videos, please feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you over here, as well as liking and sharing the video with anyone that's curious about what we're doing over here. I'd love to have it happen. So I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.